Well, it's uh, January 23rd, 2020, um, about 2.30 in the afternoon. Just got home from work um, and did a bail count. Still pretty much hanging right there at that 1.2 bales a day. So, um, haven't really changed. Been going through the baleage though, that's for sure. And the sorghum. Um, which is good. Probably noticed we got some snow. I think, uh, I think I've been working. I think I worked the last three weekends I was working. Um, this last weekend we got, we got a decent dumping. Um, we got probably a good six, probably eight inches I'd say. That's where the majority of the snow came from. Um, so I got, I got her all plowed up and everything and finally took me long enough. So, but now it, today's 30 some degrees and they're calling for a chance for some rain maybe tomorrow or Saturday, I think. So, I'm one extreme to the next. It's been quite a quite a winter. It's been been an odd winter, that's for sure. As far as uh, snow wise and temperature wise and stuff like that. So, um, I do have some hay sold tomorrow. I got a semi coming. Um, guy actually called me today and confirmed he's gonna take 90. 90 bales, um, all of these, there's three rows here, all the way back, there's 90 dry bales there, he's going to take all 90 of them, so that'll be kind of nice, get rid of them, um, still got, I think I figured I, had, I could sell about 140, 150 bales, so he's going to take 90 there, and I got another guy that wants 12 bales, I'm gonna actually deliver them to them. Um, so this weekend I'll probably deliver six or so and then deliver the rest of them some other time. But, um, and then that's probably gonna be it for selling hay for a little bit. I wanna see where I'm at on hay usage, if I've went up much, if I went down, what I got. And, um, it's really ain't it's starting to get into the time when I usually try and push the hay but not really I like to wait until late February into March so um I pulled any ads that I had out there down for hay for sale so uh yeah um not too bad can't complain um Really far behind on everything here at the farm. As far as cleaning barn, even cutting firewood. I just, like I said, I've been working the last uh, last three weekends. So, kind of hard getting getting things caught up. Um, I'm out of corn now. I, last night I ground a little bit I had left. Um, to empty the bin, I got to get a hold and get some arrangements made to get i'm hoping 400 bushel delivered um reason being buying it is i don't know if i touched on this on another video but been with the way my corn came off um and stuff i've heard some horror stories of some people corn this year is just not storing well in the bins with the low test weight it's had and the high moisture it came off at even though we dried everything, um, it's still, I've heard bad things about, about it being stored. So I'm going to buy, I think, some corn from a guy that I know. Um, dried it down really good because he, he stores it all year and bags it up and sells it through a store. So he stores it year round and so he dries his corn down really really good and actually my brother was running the dryer so i'm not 100 percent sure on how what he took the grain temp up to so i think be my best option to ship my corn and then buy buy corn off that other guy 
So uh, I think it'll just be easier with storing it and I won't hopefully have any problems with it molding come June, July. Especially in that hopper bin, it uh, if you don't have it dried good, it doesn't store good. So that's the plan. Hopefully I can get some corn bought and get some corn here. Um, I do have a ton getting delivered. Um, could have been delivered today, I don't know, of uh, just bagged corn. And I'm going to, I'll grind that up so I don't run out of feed until I get, uh, until I get some corn delivered. So we got that going on. Um, I said tomorrow, at least one semi load's going out tomorrow, possibly two. I think he can haul about 30 some bales on the semi. So there'll be three loads there for him. And um, yeah, haven't really done a whole lot, like I said, on the farm, just kind of trying to somewhat keep up, but I haven't even been, been able to keep up. Um, I got manure I need to haul. I'm hoping this weekend I don't have to work so I can haul some manure and clean some barn out. Um, did end up getting um, bedding called and ordered this uh, load of uh, sawdust comes from lo just local sawmills um, we got lots of them around here and we actually got a guy local guy that does a lot of custom work and um, he uh, he hauls sawdust and he does all sorts of hauls manure he does all sorts of stuff big custom guy I guess it would be um, I think it was 250 bucks for for this load of sawdust it's a big what it is a big chopper box um, and uh, I think last year I went through two two loads um, this year I might go through some more more than two but still the way I got it figured it's, it's cheaper than and straw um, I like straw for bedding but at uh, $30 a bale for straw, round bales. Um, and if you're, you're, you're using at least two a week, don't take long to eat up to 250. So um, it seems to work out. Um, I, I wish I had a better spot to store it and put it inside, but uh, I don't yet. Hopefully soon I have a plan. I'm where I want to do that, but that'll be a little while yet. Um, I do buy, I did buy some more squares on um, a local farm. Um, some square bales of straw for the one wing. Unless I'm cleaning them out, it's just easier to, it's just easier to bed them up with, with square bales. So I keep a, some squares on hand for them. Um, so... Yeah, uh, actually I need to go around and see if I even need to feed a bale today. But, uh, yeah, things are uh, things have been busy and glad I got that bedding. I can, when I clean barn, hopefully this weekend, I can bed them up heavy. Um, the only thing I don't like about sawdust is that bucket is small and they, you got to make... Seems like a million trips to get enough sawdust in the barn. I need to buy a bigger bucket or thought about building a grapple for that bucket. Cause I do have another bucket actually to use. So yeah, it looks like I'll have to feed a bale tonight. This seems to be working out pretty good. Um, biggest complaint I have of it is been getting snow and keeping it clean. Um, Anytime you get snow, you basically gotta gotta shovel it and clean it. But uh, they've been eating it up like crazy. Um, you can see there. I need to scrape this back down again. I did this just uh, about last week before we got we got some cold weather. Um, it was getting down to uh, well negatives. I think we had, I don't remember what the temp was with the wind chill and stuff, but it was it was pretty cold. And um, actually my 
the water ended up ended up having some water freeze up in the barn on me. So had to fight with that when I got home from work. But uh, now it's warming back up and thawing out again. So I think I can scrape this back down again. Um, and they can go in the barn. They go in the barn there for bedding and I feed them grain and they water in there. So, but, uh, so they're not out in this all day, but yeah, it's been busy. I just thought I'd, uh, make a quick video, kind of stop in, say hi. Um, kind of let you know what I've been up to and, um, stuff like that. So, uh. I'll um, try and make some videos this weekend if I clean barn and and stuff like that. But um, all depends on, like I said, if I'm working or not. They do have some rain predicted for early Saturday morning. So with the temperatures we got, it might cause a mess. So, alrighty. Well, uh, we'll talk to you guys later.